G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm of course Akiah Flos and today we're going to be taking a look at the Path of Champions. We're going to be doing the Aurelian Soul campaign, the Force Tartarian campaign, and we're going to be using Vayne for today's run. So this is going to be attempt number two of the Vayne run, as you might have seen in the previous attempt. We had a, well, let's just say a really unfortunate loss against the Duplicate Z. But if I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not really that concerned because, you know, the Vayne is really, really strong. So we should have a fairly easy time today because if we got that far, we should be able to see it through regardless. We just have to hope that we have better fortunes heading into the second attempt here so let's not waste too much time let's actually just quickly go over and breeze through the build uh pretty much the same build that i run on the vein on the first time so star powers here two star powers night hunter and it must do something plus one starting mana when an ally is equipped give it scout this round round start if you have the attack token and fuel it into equipment and then create a golden spatula in terms of the champion level i have went up to a level 25 which will actually allow me to equip a third relic and you'll see what it is in a second i think it's pretty straightforward and you might already know what it is uh anyway we are still missing out on the level 28 for his tongue next itself and the level 30 rare relic sword tree but i think it should be fine if we could have gotten that far with only level 20 we should be more than capable of getting to the a soul uh with level 25 all right so let's head to the relics here real quick i am still running a troll king's crown and an archangel staff allies have overwhelm and round start refill your spell mana overwhelm is great since a lot of the units are probably going to get a buffed up attack stat because of the vein uh equipment and stuff the archangel staff round start refill your spell mana is pretty self-explanatory it should really affect the vein on the turn one with the tumble actually not on the turn one but on the turn two that way we could immediately play a tumble and potentially just get an extra attack off which i think is really good so the only addition here is going to be the gain rage rageblade attack grant me plus one plus one i think this is a necessary item to have on the vein because we are going to be attacking a lot of times so chances are we are going to be buffing up her stat here so essentially we could further take advantage of the overwhelm all right so let's quickly head back out we are going to go ahead and get this run started i think it should be fine Alright, we're all loaded in. Let's go ahead and see what the Aurelian Soul is running first. He has a level up, which should be manageable. I'd prefer this instead of a, well, something else like a duplicate or something. Uh, Lee Sin here is unyielding. That could be a little bit scary because the Lee is always very scary. Uh, this Vein here, sorry, not Vein. This Karma here has a level up as well. That's kind of frightening because Karma starts with 10 mana. But we'll see, we'll see. It should be able to deal with it. Uh, we have a Swain here with unyielding as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and just head to the Power node. Let's see if we could pick up something great. Alright, we get a Spell Slinger. Spells cost one less. That could be decent because we could potentially play the uh, Tumble early on. But I don't think we need this since we already have the Archangel Staff on the vein. I think we're going to reroll here. This doesn't look that good. Nature's Revenge when you gain the attack token, summon a sapling. I don't really think we need this. This challenger could be useful, but I think we're going to spend another reroll here. Okay, Alice a plus one plus one for each keyword isn't too bad. It's not the greatest, but I think we'll just go with this because we can potentially get other keywords later on. And if we could tie that up with the vein, that could be great. Alright, let's head to the Swain here. Now, one more thing before we uh, proceed. I forgot to mention that if I had that star power tree uh, on the, what is it, the golden spatula, this, it must do something. We had the second iteration of this, which is it must do something too. That allies have uh, keywords thing would have been even better. But even though we don't have that, it's fine. Like I said, we can potentially pick up things later on. Let's just go ahead and take on the Swain first. Alright, we get a Steadfast Elk here, a Fish Fight and a Widowed Huntress. I think we should be able to start with this because we are guaranteed to draw the Vein here on turn 1. Not gonna lie, I actually appreciate a Rally if we could get that, but it's cool. Let's drop the Steadfast Elk first. Uh, let's not equip yet because we can potentially take advantage of that on the next turn. That could be better. Right, let's bring on the vein first. Okay, I think I have a better idea. Instead of upgrading this that first elk, let's actually upgrade the vein because she has the Ginsu's Rage Blade. It actually incentivizes us to attack. Alright, so let's go ahead and upgrade the vein here with the Damasian Steel. I'm gonna trigger the scout first. Alright, we're gonna attack again. Alright, uh, we can play a Condemn if we want to. Uh, this will actually deal one damage to us, uh, which I think should be fine. Or do you want to keep this? Uh, you know what, let's play it. It's cool. <laughs> what 
damage is fine. We should have the capability to win here. No question about it. Alright, tumble. Let's actually buff the vein. Golden spat. Alright, Widow Huntress, let's grab this Tomas and Steel. I know it has Challenger, but it's fine. And we get the win here. Alright, so we get a Rod Colossus, a Fey Guide, and a Mourned. I think the Fey Guide could be good. Elusive on the Vein looks really, really great. Uh, I think, yeah, we'll just pick this up. Alright, let's head to the Support Champion here. We get a Trunda, we get an Aurelia, and a Nar. Aurelia looks great because she has the Colossal Hammer here. This Ribbon Dancer has the Ephemera, which I don't really like, but we can potentially take advantage of this since we are going to be attacking quite often. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll just go to Aurelia here. It seems fine. Alright, we have a Stilted Rope Maker, a Healer, and a Shop Node. We are going to head to the Shop Node, so that means we're going to take on the Fiora. I would right, let's get rid of the Kind-Hearted Recruit. Actually, we'll keep this. This is Double Time Watch. Condemn is also fine. Actually, we'll keep everything here. This seems like a fairly decent start. Alright, let's see if we can kill the Citria here. Doesn't want to attack. It's okay. It's okay. Alright, I'm gonna put on the vein here. Monsters still lurk in Demacia's every shadow. Alright, doesn't want to attack. Beautiful. Okay, I think this is what we can do. We should have enough to play Tumble here. This is 3 mana, this is another 3 mana, and yeah, we can either only play Aurelia or the Tumble. Okay, let's drop the Aurelia first. I think I have an idea. Hold on, Aurelia gets a tune. Ah, okay, okay. Um, I was thinking of playing the Aurelia, getting the Flawless Duet here. That's another 2 mana, so this is 3, this is 2, this is 5. Plus this Tumble, that's gonna be 8. We don't really have enough here. I tell you what, we'll still drop it. I think it should be fine. Oh, you're not will attack first. I think I have an idea. Yeah, let's attack first. I have an idea of what I want to do. Alright, and now we'll play Tumbo. We'll give this vein the golden spat. Aurelia on. Every blade, every beat in its place. There we go. So that way we get all the cards that we need. Let's go ahead and drop this flawless duet. We should have the win here regardless, to be fair. <laughs> A sentinel's work is never done. Alright, cool. We get a quick attack on Golden Spatula is great because we are going to be getting a lot of Golden Spatula. So I'm going to pick this up. No question about it. Alright, so let's head to the shop here because I want the power. Let's see if we can get something decent. We get an Empress Die, which isn't too bad. Now that we're past the Fiora, we can safely pick this up. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. Let's head to the Caitlyn here. I'm on the cake. Alright, this looks like a great start, because we have the units as well as the vein. I think we'll keep this. Steadfast Elk. And around. I want to keep this Damas and Steel for this for this turn, they'll be better. Alright, let's bring on the vein. Demons walk among us, masquerading as men. Oh, no unit summon. Beautiful. Let's put play the Damas and Steel on the vein here. Hyper aggro vein. <laughs> Hyper aggro vein. 
All right, we have to win. Alright, so we get a Condemned buff here with the Hextech Fabricator. This could be really, really good, so I'm gonna pick this up. Okay, let's head to the gold chest here. Grab the 200 gold, of course, and we're gonna head to the shop node again. Let's see if we could get a really good power here. GameStar Draw 2 isn't the greatest. I don't really want to spend the reroll, so I think we'll just leave this. Uh, do we need any cards here, ideally? I don't really think so, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Alright, so we'll just leave this then. We are just gonna head on straight into the Karma. Alright, so we don't get a vein here, but we do get a Fey Guide. So I think we're gonna reroll this because I would really like to try to aim for the vein. Getting that vein early could easily close up this game. We'll keep the Faithful Wolf Talk, of, of course. We'll probably just want to. You know what? We'll keep one Fey Guide because the Elusive could be useful. Alright, get a vein. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna drop the vein here. We should have enough for a wolf dog and a fair guy. Actually, we could play a tumble if we play this one right. Uh, four, two... No, we can't really play a tumble. I think we'll play that next turn. I think I have a better idea. Because I want to give this vein elusive. And with the spatula, we get a scout. Yeah, we'll keep the tumble for the next turn. That could be great. Okay, so we'll want to give the vein elusive. Oh, this is a fellow who's so gonna have a stun, right? Hold on, let me just double check. Ah, yeah, I definitely picked up a Gravitum here. Which is so unfortunate. I wish I could play that, you know, Golden Spat. Okay, you know what? I think we'll just attack like so. I'm really sure there's gonna be a stun here. There's no question about it. There's definitely gonna be a stun. Uh, we'll definitely not drag this. This is stupid. I can tell it. We'll attack like so. I'm really confident that this is gonna be a stun. The moon weapon. This is definitely gonna be a stun. Tenacity through trial. All right, we'll see next turn. I'm pretty sure that's a stun because I attack. It knows it can't do anything. That's why it's not playing the stun here. Uh, okay, let's just pass the turn. May your wanderings find you peace. Time will tell. All right, we'll play the wolf dog. We'll grab the spat here. She looks more capable than most people. Tough road. Keep each other safe. I'm just gonna attack with the with the vein here. We'll play tumble and get the golden spat on. Might have to block with some units. Interesting. No stun. I'm pretty sure that that Felius would have gone for a stun, right? Because we uh, essentially need, you know, it essentially wants to stop the vein, but it's cool. Uh, whatever it is, let's just go ahead and block like so. We actually put the vein here and the 9 9 here. We should be fine. We should be able to get everyone to survive. Alright, beautiful. We just attack like so and we win. Alright, whether or not that was a stun, who knows? We'll never know. <laughs> but the good thing is that we got the win. Alright, so we get a Philosopher's Stone here. Draw 1, Ancient Coin minus 1 cost, and Phage plus 2 plus 2. I really want to go with the Phage, but then I think it would be, you know, not that great in the, in the long run. The minus 1 cost could be decent. A turn 1 vein could be really, really big. So I think we're just going to go ahead and pick this up. And besides, we are going to get a buff from the Ginsu's Rage Blade. We don't really need the Phage, if I'm going to be honest here. Alright, let's head to the power and see if we can pick up something decent. 
When you summon a 1 cost unit granted plus 2 plus 2, this is amazing because we have the Empress die. That will essentially mean we get a 3 3 Empress die. Uh, sorry, an Empress die. 3 3 Sand Soldier. We're gonna go with the Yips Genius. Alright, so let's see. We have a item chest, a healer, as well as a gold chest. I think we might want to head to the item chest here. That means we're gonna take on the Ash. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this. This seems like a good enough start. We also have the uh, two mana, so we can potentially play Zealous Ranger Knight here on turn one. Yeah, let's go for that. Spare the guiltless and punish the wicked. I just realized this ash is gonna come on. Hmm. She's gonna go to a 6 8. Now, you know what? I think we should be fine. We should have enough stats here, I believe. Alright, we'll try it. Let's just bring on the vein here. We're gonna go Damas and Steel. We're gonna buff this guy. Oh crap, what was I doing? I probably should have buffed the vein, right? No, the vein would have died regardless. Because if we attack with the scout, that ash is just gonna, um, you know, kill us back. Alright, tell you what, let's uh, drag this guy here. No, actually we should have buffed the vein, that way we could drag this 1-1. One, one. Ah, yeah, I made a mistake. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Alright, so we're just gonna commit this, it's cool. It is what it is. Frostbites is here, which is fine. What happens if we attack like so? How much damage will this be? This is gonna be six damage. But I think it should be fine, right? We should be able to play the tumble and just get the attack off next turn. Yeah, I think it should be fine. It's a shame we had to commit this first because, you know, if we did not need to commit, we could have just played the Condemn and immediately killed the Ash here, but that was not possible because once we commit the attack, the attack is going to go through and this is a fast spell, so we can only play it after. Hopefully that makes sense. But, uh, I think we might just still play the Condemn. If we could get lucky... No, we can actually play two Condemns and kill this Ash here, which is great. Okay, we'll do that. Alright, there we go. Nice. Now we have a free Nexus, we just play a Tumble and we should be able to win. We fight for one Freljord. I'm gonna go with a Tumble here. Let's get the Golden Spat on. This is our home Beautiful. Alright, nice. We get a Lucian here. The Lucian could actually be amazing because essentially, you know, we will be attacking quite often. But I really don't want this at this point because we already have the Aurelia and the Vein. I would like to increase my odds of drawing a Vein. So having a Lucian here would not make sense. I think we're just going to go with the Vanguard Lookout in that sense. The Quick Attack should be fine. And it's a 2 you cost unit as well. Alright, let's head to the item chest here. Let's hope we get something great. We get a minus two cost on the Condemn, which means we could play it early, but chances are we're probably going to get it down to zero, so I don't think it's going to be that useful. Tough on Kindhearted Recruit seems fine. We have the keyword buff, so I think we might just pick this up. Already have the draw on the Fish Fry. We re don't really need another draw. I think we're just going to go with a Kindhearted Recruit upgrade here. All right, we're going to take on the Zoe. Awesome. Alright, so Widow Huntress, the two Condemns, we don't really need two Condemns, we're just gonna get rid of one of it, we'll keep this Widow Huntress, or oh, actually let's get rid of it as well, we really need cheap units on the turn one. We'll just keep this Damascus in Steel in case we don't get a equipment of course. 
And we get the vein. Cool. We get a blade dance as well. Not bad. Okay, tell you what. Since we know that this Zoe is going to attack, the elusive is going to be pointless. We might as well just drop the vein. So I think we'll just do that. Demons walk among us, masquerading as men. Yep, we can't really block. So it's okay. We'll just drop the vein here. We're pretty safe. We can't attack immediately next turn, which is great. I'll get Aurelia as well. I think we can make use of that in this turn as well. Let's just attack with the vein first. Alright, Tumble, Vein, Golden Spat. Beautiful. We can actually attack here if we want to, but I'm just going to drop that earlier for fun. <laughs> Very nice. Expertly done. Now to root out the next... Alright, good stuff. We get a Essence Reaver on the Golden Spatula. Even more busted stuff. Vanguard's Edge copy me onto the same targets. That could be great as well. But I think I'm just gonna go with the buff to the Golden Spat here. This could be useful. Alright, let's head to the shop here. I see a Z up ahead, which could be interesting. Let's just go ahead and grab some upgrades here. Damascene Steel plus one plus one is fine. We already have the Damascene Steel. We'll probably just upgrade more of these. So we'll just grab one copy to get a universal buff. Uh, we don't really need any of these here, if I'm going to be honest. We're just going to see what power we get. Trifarian Might is fine. We're going to pick this up. Alright, so this is going to be an interesting one. We're going to head to the Z because I want to take on the champion item chest. I see an unyielding here, which could be kind of scary. It could be a fairly interesting pairing. But yeah, this is duplicate is the duplicate is probably far worse here. But I think it should be fine. We're going to take on the Z and see if we could get our redemption or revenge run. <laughs> Beautiful, we get the attack token. Wonderful stuff. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Defiant Dance. Uh, and I think we'll just keep the fish fight here. It should be fine. And we should be able to draw a vein, hopefully. Oh no, Aurelia, why? I need the vein. Oh no. <laughs> Don't tell me this is going to end the way how I think it is. Oh my god. Okay, this is, if it does if it does end this way, it's probably my fault. But I think it should be fine. There's no duplicate. We're pretty safe. Uh, yeah, we should be able to work with this. Let's just pass the turn. Showtime. Alright, I'm gonna get the... Wolf dog here. We're gonna get a golden spat. We're gonna get down. We're, we're gonna go down to twenty something health again <laughs> we, because we don't. We didn't draw the vein. Well, it's probably my fault. I probably should have rerolled everything. But yeah, I thought I was confident enough to get the RL, to get the vein here. It's cool. It's cool. We should still be able to win this. Let's just go ahead and block the Z here. That way we prevent the level up. I won't lie, I'm kind of concerned. I am really, really concerned. But, uh, let's see. We'll drop the Irelia here. I must become the leader they need. The take okay, that's good enough. Uh, we'll probably play the Blade Dance first. Alright, let's go to Golden Spat. 
Oh, we probably should have played Golden Spat first because Golden Spat has the Essence Reaver. Uh, we should have played that first. That way we could have taken advantage of the... Of that spell. Okay, it's cool. I think we're still attacked like so. Yeah, I screwed up. I screwed up. Attack again. Still doesn't want to block with the Z. All right. Okay, this could be bad if we can't kill the Z here. We should be able to kill it next turn. We bring on the kind-hearted recruit. It's gonna kill that Z. Alright, I think we need to get rid of this elusive here. No, get rid of the Z. Yeah, we'll get rid of the Z. That's better. We'll take four damage here, but uh, I think it should be okay. We'll just drop the Elkling. Where's the vein when we need the vein? God damn it. <laughs> uh, we're gonna attack like so first. Forgot there's unyielding, but I think we should be able to manage. Oh no, we should have played the equipment first, get the scout. What the hell am I doing? What the hell am I doing? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, How close is that Irelia to leveling up? Okay, really, really close. I think we can just play Blade Dance here. Okay, okay, let's do this first. Let's go Golden Spat onto the Irelia. Um, I really should have played this from the start. It's my mistake here, but I think it should be fine. Should still be okay. Let's go with the Flawless Duet. Crap, I was hoping it blocked there. That way we could, you know, um, deal some damage. Alright, we want to get rid of this unit straight up. Let's do Irelia um, and condemn this uh, Ren Shadow Blade here. I think we should have enough for the Vanguard's Edge. We can potentially end it next turn. Holy shit, this might be one of the scariest <laughs> runs I've done. <laughs> well, not scariest, but you know, after yesterday's, uh, in the context of that day's run, uh, I'm really not looking forward to a loss. Alright, let's go. We'll play Vanguard's Edge. We'll get the Irelia on. We should be able to end it. Okay, we'll swap this guy with uh, one of the blades here. Actually, you know what? Let's probably swap. Yeah, we'll swap with the blades. It doesn't really matter. We have more than enough damage. Our home. Our ancestors are... Alright guys, we got away with that one. I must apologize because I definitely was playing that really, really sloppily and I was kind of confident we got the vein there. I think if we had the vein on the turn one, it would have been great. We could have just ended it really quickly, but I was kind of unfortunate. So let's just go ahead and grab another Essence Reaver on the Golden Spat. We need to work out on the combo as well. I'm kind of forgetting this because we have the Essence Reaver. It's probably worth to bring on the Essence Reaver onto the Aurelia first and only then we play uh, the, what is it, that uh, Blade Dance thing. That way we could get more damage onto the Aurelia. So so yeah, uh, we need to really bear that in mind. We're just gonna go with the Golden Spat here, it's cool. Another upgrade, another Essence Reaver. Let's go with the Champion Item Chest here, of course. Uh, we're gonna wanna upgrade the Vein. We have a Play I Start a Free Attack on the Vein is amazing. We're gonna pick this up. Let's go to the Healer here. We'll grab the 8 health for sure, we really need that into the uh, Lee Sin here. But the good thing is at least we got the Z out of the way. It should be fine from here on out. Alright, so let's head to the Lee Sin. Yo, 
Right, I'm gonna get rid of Kindhearted Recruit and Fish Fight. We are probably gonna even want to get rid of this Damas and Steel. Let's hope we could increase the chance of drawing a vein. We've learned our lesson. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Monsters still lurk in Demacia's every shadow. Stuns us, which is fine. Oh, that Lee Sin comes on next turn. That could be a little bit problematic because we don't have any way, any form of uh, spell control. Well, not control, spell control, but crowd control. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. 610. Okay, I think of an idea. We might have to play the Blade Dancer here just to, you know, block the Lee Sin. Spin it round, throw it down. we we'll have to take damage here, I think. We'll take two and two. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do that earlier is to get, you know, the uh, health of the Lee Sin down. And what we can do is we can potentially play the Golden Spat, get the quick attack, and then get the Tumble and free attack. I think that's the plan. Alright, so we're going to let this commit here because this is going to be two damage. This is going to be two damage. This is going to be four in total plus six. That's going to be ten, which isn't too great, but uh, it is what it is. Unless it doesn't want to use it, of course. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. Let's play Tumble. Oh, no. Oh, my God. No, no, no. 10-4. This is going to be... Oh, crap. It's going to kill Naveen here. <laughs> Crap, we've already committed a tumble, that's the problem. Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna resolve this. It's gonna kill the vein here, I think. Because... Vein's gonna go up to a... 11-11. Oh, we got lucky here. How the hell did she get to 11-11? Hold on, I'm not really sure. Uh, one second, one second. Is it because of the golden spat there? Does it count the tumble? I'm not really sure what's going on, but I'm not going to complain. 11-11 is perfect, because that way we survived this Lee Sin here, which is great. <laughs> Alright, we can attack, like, so safely. Even if the Lee Sin chooses to block the vein here. Um, first line of force Nexus would run out of hell each game. Heal at 30 and grant their allies everywhere, plus one, plus one. It should still kill the Lee Sin, right? I hope. Oh, only one way to find out. Let's just click commit here. By my hand, I will end their suffering. Their heartbeats quicken. You have got to be shitting me. Oh my god, it kills the vein? Jesus Christ, I hate this on Yiling. I really hate this on Yiling. Oh man, I killed the dude there. Well, it, I've, it, it gets the health, the plus one, plus one, and it survives again, I guess. Ah, uh, well, uh, we're gonna go with the Vanguard lookout here. You can count on me. Golden Spat. We need another vein. We need another vein. Oh, we can actually just kill this Lee Sin if we want to. Check out these moves. I'm gonna drop this kind hearted recruit here. I'll save my sister and everyone else. I won't stand by. You are brave, young one. Alright, so before it strikes us, we're gonna play fish fight and kill this Lee Sin. Ready for the fight. Sound the alarm. 
block this guy because we have the barrier. Whatever it does, we get to survive. My friends. Four damage, six damage. Um, okay, Delo, let's drop the mask and seal. We're gonna lose the scout, but I think we play this right. We should have enough damage to just kill it next turn. Even though we don't need the scout. 14, and we should get four from the... Uh, How's the seven? I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm not really sure how that's seven, but hold on. We have a challenger here. Ah, okay, okay. I have a plan. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go with the Widowed Huntress. Spatula. I'm really sorry about your wife. I know. And I'm sorry about your sister. All right, we're going to attack like so. Beautiful. Hide. You know, but now that I'm thinking about it before we commit this, uh, I realize now why of that, you know, that Lee Sin survive. Because the grant me plus one plus one, right? So even though we killed the vein, we we initially killed that uh, that uh, Lee Sin there. Uh, what's gonna happen is that it's gonna get a plus one plus one and then it's gonna kill back the vein there so it's a little bit unfortunate but i think it's something we need to look out for moving forward all right it's cool we got a bit lucky here but it's fine we're just gonna resolve this Oh lord, we get a black cleaver on the vein. We're gonna pick this up, no question about it. This is probably one of the more OP items on her. Alright, let's see what we get here in the power node. We get a stabilize and chrono breaks. I think we're just gonna go with the stabilize. This could be kind of crazy on the turn one if we get the attack token, of course. With the vein especially. Alright, so we have a victor here as well as a fist. I think we're gonna head to the victor because I want this, uh, you know, shop node to get another power. All right, we get the attack token again. Nice. Let's get rid of the defiant dance, and I think we can keep everything else. It seems fine. Now hold on, we probably can get rid of the mass and steel because we should be able to get a golden spat on the turn one. Yeah, I tell you what, let's get rid of the mass and steel. You have got to be joking. We increased the. How many veins do we have in this deck? I'm, I'm gonna have to check later. We have so many veins in the deck, but it gives us the damn Irelia. <laughs> um, God damn it. I just I guess we're just gonna drop the Zealous Range Knight here. The master has forsaken me, but my cause is virtual. Reporting for duty! Banish the immoral. I'm not going to play Condemn here because we can't really kill the Tristana, so we're just going to end the round. Alright, go Zealous Ranger Knight again. Right, we're gonna go Aurelia this turn, but that Victor's gonna come on. Ah, finally we get the vein. Finally she shows up. <laughs> Look at how easy, you know, if we had the vein there on the turn one, on the beginning, that would've been decent. But yeah, it is what it is. Let's just attack again. Uh, we don't even need to play Condemn, but we'll just do it anyway. Expertly done. Now to root out the next. 
All right, we get a minus one cost on the Widow Huntress. A free attack on Silverwing Diver could be great because this is essentially a 4-6 unit because we have the, uh, what is it, that uh, evolution thing. I think we might want to pick this up, actually. This seems fine, uh, f fairly decent, I in my opinion. Yeah, I think we'll pick this up. All right, let's head to the shop here. Let's go to the buy a power. We have another plus plus two plus two, another Yips genius. This is amazing that we, we have a six six uh, sand soldier on turn one. That could be kind of crazy. We're gonna pick this up. Do we need any cards? I don't really think we need anything. The condemn with another hextech fabricator is fine. We'll just go ahead and grab that. But I think that's all we need. We don't really need anything else in my opinion. Let's leave. Let's head to the uh, Azir here. Oh, this is beautiful. We get the Vein and the Defiant uh, and the Steadfast Elk here. We can get rid of these uh, Defiant Dance as well as the Mass and Steel because we are going to get a Golden Spat, but chances are we're probably not going to need it. <laughs> Alright, Vein on. Demons walk among us, masquerading as men. Hold on, why doesn't this guy get the... Why doesn't this vein get the, uh... What is it? This Black Cleaver buff. Why does this vein get a Black Cleaver buff, but not this one? Uh, did it get a Black Cleaver buff? I'm not really sure. <laughs> you know what, it's fine. We should have the turn one win here. Let's just attack. Beautiful. Oh my lord. Can just even play the Condemn and... Ah, we don't need to. Let's just resolve. <laughs> Now to root out the next Colossal Hammer on the vein. We're gonna pick this up. We might just get a turn one victory. We could get the attack token into the ace hole. That would be kind of crazy. All right, we're gonna take on Jinx here with duplicate. Attack token again, which is beautiful. We don't hunt Huntress, play a faithful wolf dog, and we have a dancer. We don't really need the border with what we get now. We just bring on the vein, and we should get the insta win. This is what I want to see. <laughs> this is exactly what I want. Fain on. Monsters still lurk in Demacia's every shadow. Oh, I understand now why this vein gets, you know, this uh, 28, 28, 28, 24. All right, so let me just quickly explain it. I think I get what's going on here. We bring on this regular vein. Her health gets doubled, right? And because the stabilize kicks in, which will summon an exact ephemeral copy of it. So we summon this exact ephemeral copy of this vein. Then it gets, you know, its health and power doubled again. That's why it goes up to 28, 24. That's kind of crazy when you think about it. All right, so this is a turn one victory here. Kind of nice. 52 damage. Beautiful. Exactly what I want to see. Expertly done. Now to root out the next. Alright, we get an Aurelia upgrade here with a Fearsome. I don't really want this because ideally we are going to be focusing on Vayne. Cataclysm and Ally starts a free attack, changing enemy seems fine. Create a Kafian Mirage in hand that costs zero this round, or create a Golden Spat in hand. We don't really need this because we are generating Golden Spatulas already. I think we might just go to Cataclysm. Or do we want to spend the reroll on here? This is the final note. And we'll spend the rerolls, it's cool. Uh, free attack on Widow Huntress. We might be able to do better. Uh, unfortunately we don't, <laughs> but I think we'll just grab the Ribbon Dancer here. The Fearsome is fine. Alright, let's head to the Aurelian Sol. Oh, no attack token for us. Well, we do get the Vayner, which is cool. I think we'll just keep this. I actually have an idea of how to make the most out of this. Let's drop the Ribbon Dancer here. Beautiful. 
beautiful. We kill it because we have the evolution, by the way. That's how we got a plus one stat buff of the fearsome. And then we killed that guy. All right, we're gonna end the round. So yeah, that was definitely the right call to grab that fearsome. Karma, let's see about it's all right. Let's drop this vein. Those who kill innocent. Wow, it stuns both our veins. Alright, so that's probably the downside of not picking up a spell shield, but I think it should be okay. Alright, we're gonna go tumble. We'll grab the vein, we'll get a golden spat. Uh, let's go and condemn and kill this Hecarim. It stuns us here, it's fine, we have to win next turn. Beautiful stuff. If we had the attack though, it could have been so much better. We could have immediately gone a turn one win, probably. But we need to kill here before this um, Malphite, you know, deals damage. Alright, we're gonna attack like so. Beautiful. Expertly done. Now to root out the next. All right, guys, so we finally get our vein victory here, and this was probably one of the best runs on the channel. So it was well worth the wait. Maybe the loss was actually a blessing in disguise, if you will, because this was probably one of the better runs. I think it's far better than that initial run as well. Black Cleaver, free attack, uh, minus one cost, and the Colossal Hammer uh, with the Ginsu's Rage Blade. Of course, with the addition of the Ginsu's Rage Blade, we got a really, really beefy vein here on the turn one, the second we summon it. And of course, we cannot uh, you know, forget about the powers here. Really, really good powers as well. Uh, Evolution. Allies at plus one plus one. See the power Empress die works so well with the vein. Kind of lucky on this one as well because if we were um, essentially, you know, we had not faced that Fiora on that second battle, I probably would not have gone for this because if we were to face a Fiora, she can potentially kill our uh, Sand Soldiers and just instantly win the game. So yeah, good thing we faced the Fiora. That's why I was able to pick this up. Uh, Yips Genius plus one plus one. A second Yips Genius, of course, really really good. Trifarian might help this out a lot and the stabilize as well with that, you know, ephemeral vein. Really really good stuff. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this run as much as I did and if you did consider leaving a like as well as subscribing to the channel really really do appreciate your support here but most importantly it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads of Legends of Runeterra or Path of Champions content just like this one and with that being said this is Kevlo signing off thank you all so much for watching thanks for joining me as well hopefully I catch you guys in the next one goodbye